stars, stunts, action. A fast-paced, hands-on, high-flying look into the world of action movies, television, and the martial arts. I'm James Houston, lifelong martial artist, ex-bodyguard, bounty hunter, and I'm addicted to action. That's Jason McNeil, exotic weapons expert, action junkie, and movie guru. Also joining in our co-hosts, Anthony DeLongis and Michelle Lee. We bring you the stars, the stunts, and the artists who dedicate their lives to one thing, action. Howdy, partners. Break out your cowboy boots and polish up that rusty sheriff's badge because this time on Star Stunts Action, we're kicking it cowboy style. We're leaving the bright lights of L.A. and heading into the Mojave Desert to a real live Wild West action ranch. Then Michelle's going to show us her sweet sword stylings. Stunt woman extraordinaire Zoe Bell is going to break bad on the beach. Remember the rules, Ten Horns. No cussing, no fighting, and no cheating at cards. I ah, just kidding. We love the cussing and fighting. Well, what we're gonna do is we gotta head up to Anthony's ranch. To get to Rancho Andalo, we've got to leave the city and head for the hills. It's home to Anthony DeLongis, master of just about everything. Knives, swords, whips, guns, you name it. This guy trained Harrison Ford with the whip. You know, I mean, he's a legend with this kind of thing. You know, I was an impressionable young man when Batman Returns came out. Michelle Pfeiffer in tight black leather crack and a whip gave me a special tingly feeling. So imagine my surprise when I found out that Anthony brought the brought the bull whip to Catwoman. He was the one who developed that style and she used it on screen. So we gotta catch a little bit of bull whip while we're here, just for the special feeling. I have to say, this was a lot sexier when Catwoman was doing it. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. uh, we've got his hair. <laughs> the whip is man's first supersonic tool. It dates to over 3000 BC in both the Chinese and Egyptian cultures. Tip of the whip goes over 700 miles an hour. It's actually pretty hard. To close on this. But if you do, I can just pick this end up and now we're into a medium range technique. What's about to happen here is I'm going to start throwing some punches and he's going to use the whip at close range to envelop my fists and tie me up. Okay, now that happened really fast. Anthony, how about uh, breaking down and showing us what happened just there? The arts connect where I give you this and I sector away. Now the place you have open is now this one. Right. And again, if I don't like being there, I can ah. be back here. See, this is Shiho Nage in Jiu Jitsu. That's really interesting because it crosses over. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? All right, tell me about dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> gonna eat your, he's eating your head, but. Well, I thought I had a big sword collection and <laughs> we got up here to Anthony's and he's got swords and horses. <laughs> Does anybody know the horse? <laughs> I thought I had a big sword collection, but Anthony's collection is unbelievable. I mean, he's got swords of every possible type that you could possibly imagine. And he knows how to use them all. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Riot Act stunt team here with us today, and they specialize in environmental choreography. They took a look at this, and they put this routine together in about 10 minutes. We're going to do this in a single master, and then we're going to go down and pick up some pieces. So here we go. Everybody ready? And action, Simon. Yeah. That was great, guys. Come on nice. in. Come on in. Very nice. Hey, thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Riot X stunt creation team. Uh, Simon Fawn, please introduce the rest of your team. I'm Simon Fawn. I'm DL McDonald. I'm Tyler Williams. Uh, what you guys just saw here, we covered the first thing in a master, and then we went in for fast coverage. When you're running and gunning, 
you shoot what you want the audience to see and no more. This makes for very tight edits and very emotionally evocative and effective action. You want to add to that? Uh, the only thing I'd like to add is uh, the fact that we're trying to, as our team uh, starts to grow and build and do more things, is we're trying to get more people together who are not only extreme martial artists, but also sword practitioners, horse practitioners, and anybody who's at a very high caliber in terms of their training and their practice of skills so that we can sort of amalgamate all the action together and make for some very interesting storytelling. All right, we're going to do a little bit of knife throwing. Uh, this shows you what happens when you repress a kid. I used to throw these into my floor and my mother took them all away, but some years later, I get to do it anytime I want to. A uh, perfect throw looks like this. Slightly over-rotated here at a 45 degree angle, it'll still stay in. This will knock itself out of the target. Perfect throw, slightly under-rotated in here. You can throw by the blade like so. Um, I'm going to throw by the handle. So this will be single rotations. Blade rotations are half a rotation or one and a half. By the handle are full rotations or double rotations. Tomahawks mm, harkens back to uh, the early days of the Americas. Um, a lot of uh, these days, you do a lot of things with uh, computer-generated imaging and uh, a lot of special effects in post-production. But in old Hollywood, they uh, had real skills in real time. If you ever seen a picture called "How the West Was Won"? Stuntman wore a block of wood in the middle of his back, and another stuntman who was very talented and that he trusted flung this axe and after a single rotation, buried it right in the middle of that block of wood. That calls to mind the uh, appearance of Ed Ames on Johnny Carson, where he came out to demonstrate his tomahawk prowess and hit the target right in the groin. I want a bigger block of wood. If it's on camera, it's a stunt. If not, it's just an unfortunate accident. Nothing like a fine wine here at Rancho Andalo. Would you mind holding that for me? Nice and gentle. Here we go. Take a sip, Jason. Seems like rather a waste of wine, don't you think? I think I'll. Uh, I like a trusting man. I think I'll stick with the bottle. <laughs> Barbarian. <laughs> Today, you're in for a real treat. We're heading to Chinatown, Central Plaza to be exact, known as a beautiful place for locals to share their rich culture with surrounding communities and tourists. I'm here with Michelle and she just showed us some great wushu techniques and of course she's done a lot of movie work so how would you use something like what you just did for film? Um, a lot of Chinese um, weapons technique is um, instead of one-on-one -on -one fighting it's a lot of one-on-one ten fighting or it's it's a kind of an army situation so there's a lot of switching directions there's a lot of um, twisted body moves for extension so one of the moves for example this one it's slice, cut, look behind, turn around, prep for another stab. So it looks really fancy, it looks really dancey, right. but it's actually to attack multiple opponents. So if I was back here... If, exactly, you got it. If he was back there, and I have one here, I slice and cut, I know he's behind me, I turn to attack, 
prep and stab. So what about maybe fighting for real? <laughs> what do you know about that? I don't know. What do you know about that? <laughs> well, I know a few things. And of course, Michelle does know about sword fighting. But as we're talking shop, I can't help but notice that Jason's on the sidelines ready to unleash the yellow dragon. Your wardrobe will try to kill you, all right? So I've wondered ever since I saw Pirates 3, tell me about, okay, you're in the Caribbean, you got makeup, you got this big sort of Peggy Bundy hairdo, <laughs> you've got a kimono on, and they're saying, okay, now take chopsticks in your hand, now fight. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, wardrobe is definitely something to worry about in conjunction with movie fighting. A lot of times the wardrobe is crazy, like you said, like yeah. in Pirates. There were um, form-fitted, strapped in. It was like uh, West Hollywood on Gay Pride Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> a wise man with a whole lot of sense once said that the desert is just a beach without the water. After all this action in the Mojave, I'm ready for some wetness. After the break, let's go ahead and get our Wolverine on, and then we're going to hit the beach with Zoe Bell. All right. It's time for us to get our adamantium on and attack Wolvie Berserker style with J.J. Perry. Then we're going to go get wet with Zoe Bell. Here we go. Hey, before we go in, I'm going to run to the van real quick. i got a little project I'm working on. Should I even ask? Don't even worry about it. All right. I gotta admit, I was a little nervous meeting J.J. Perry. And this is the guy that makes Hugh Jackman look like a superhero, so you gotta respect that. J.J., what's happening, man? All right, as promised, man who taught Wolverine how to rumble. I uh, understand, though, you started out not as a stunt fighter, but as a real fighter, fighter fighter. Yeah, I started martial arts back in 1975. <clears throat> Got to compete all over the U.S., all over the world, actually. I was in the elite athlete program from the Army. And uh, came out to Hollywood in 90, and I've uh, been studying Hollywood dope. So while Jason's inside working on pulling his interview together, I'm out in the van doing a little special project. I started out with six hose clamps. Now I take them one at a time, open them up, and straighten them out. Then I cut them with some tin snips. Now be careful because this is where they get really sharp. So I file them down so they'll be a little bit safer to work with. Tell me a little bit about working with uh, Jackman. I mean, very physical actor, right? Yeah, you know, Hugh is uh, a real pleasure to work with. He comes from a, from a stage background, so it was really easy to teach him movement. You know, he would pick up the beats and choreography in a different way, like uh, as, as fighters, as fight coordinators, or as, as stunt fighters. We look at it as moves. He kind of look at it in the beats, kind of the way you would look at a song and dance routine on stage. Next, I gather the ends together and start taping. Any tape will do, but I'm using gaff tape. Next, grab a set of black gloves and cut three holes in between the fingers. I think you can see where this is going at this point. Now, finally, the reveal. I understand James has got a little uh, craft project he's been working on. So I look over JJ's shoulder, and here comes James with his project. <laughs> <laughs> look out. How do you use these things if you're going to fight? Well, first of all, we wouldn't use those in a fight because those are real metal. We'd be using the, the rubber or the, the, the aluminum uh, picture doubles. But, but yeah, these are a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't know if JJ was exactly impressed with my Wolverine claws, but as soon as he saw him, he dropped right into fight coordinator mode. You know, using these type of tools, uh, which is an extension of your arm, basically what you're doing is you're looking through the frame of the camera, like this. This is our frame, okay? And there's a box. There's four corners and four walls. So you're always trying to hit one edge of the frame or the other to fill the frame up to make the action look interesting. Good. See what I'm saying? So every movement yeah. you do should be straight-armed and wide so you really fill the frames up nice. Right. And you always end up in the classic Wolverine pose. You start with the X for the X-Men and then rip it down for the Wolverine. Sink and tats. Good. One more time. All right. Here we go. Go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> so if I'm fighting uh, Sabretooth or... Uh, mm -hmm. Sam Sabretooth. It's All right, as I come go. pouncing in the screen. <laughs> All right, okay. so uh, duck the first one. So okay. he throws a punch okay. and you duck, and then right away he throws a straight punch and you wrap it. Good. And no, 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 no. Wrap it this way. Good. One more time. Wrap it this way. Hold okay. it here. Now turn. Right. Hook his head. Fold him down. Ow. And now the camera pushes in, so we see a close up of both faces, the struggle. You could break his arm over here if you wanted to, like a crack. Now unwrap him, and now go underneath for the fireman's carry. Take them over, three, two, one, go. Nice, and then shank them. Good, then pose out to the camera. So, James breaks out his junk store claws, right? And what happens? I get my butt kicked.
also after the claws came out, JJ brings in his Hollywood stunt team to show us how professionals set up a fight at real speed. The gentleman with a hat on, his name is Sam Hargrave. He dealt with everyone in Wolverine except for Wolverine. The other gentleman's name is Jay Kwong. So with no further ado, this will be fast. Here we go, guys, first position. And three, two, one, action. <laughs> The way JJ's crew works is truly amazing. Those guys put that fight together so fast, and the way they did it, flawless. Good job, right on, man. Right on. Thanks. Hey, we appreciate the time. My pleasure, bro. All My right. pleasure. Thanks. <laughs> So we get, uh, I get this DVD in the mail, and this is back for Death Proof or anything. It's a documentary about, documentary about stunt women called Double Dare. DoubleDareTheMovie.com. Go purchase it. It's good. And it's all about Zoe. And, you know, she's just this cool action chick, and she's really hot, and she's tough. And, you know, she was the uh, stunt double for Xena, and she was Una's stunt double in uh, Kill Bill. You know, she did all the fighting and flipping and wearing the yellow, yellow jumpsuit. So... I got really interested, so I called her up and uh, did some magazine writing for her. And next thing together, we're at a photo session at Inside Kung Fu. And, you know, I'm like all excited. I get to meet Zoe, and she was just appalled at the wardrobe. It was the funniest thing. I mean, you guys have seen what I wear, right? So I come in, and all of a sudden, it's like she's just sitting there staring at the clothes on the hangers and looks over and goes, man, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> She thought I was a weirdo. So all that aside, yeah, she still agreed to do an interview with us. So um, we're going down to the beach to surf with Zoe. Because no one's ever thought you were a weirdo. <laughs> Xena and you said, oh, I am so, I'm, I'm so happy to be able to just take Xena off and go home and not yeah. be famous, not in my face on camera. And all of a sudden, not only your face is on camera, but you're on the hood of a car, your face is on camera. Yeah. Kind of a bit of a transition, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's, it's a little ironic, but I wasn't lying. <laughs> I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really enjoying the transition, though. It's, uh, it's a whole new challenge for me. It sort of puts me a little bit outside of my normal comfort zone. And you get all these actors bragging about how, you know, oh, I do my own stunts. Here you are, you know, I do my own dialogue, right? Yeah, I have a T-shirt that says, <laughs> I do all my own dialogue. Well, <laughs> Someone absolutely. made it for me. <laughs> well, here we are. Your action, Zoe. Show me how to do a screen punch. Basic punch screen you? punch. Basic how do you screen feel punch. about knocking me on my ass? I've been waiting for you to say that for oh. many years, Jason. In many years, especially drug you out here at 8.30 in the morning, yeah? <laughs> What do I do? How do I So, you just get a fight sign, whatever's comfortable. I just stand here and look ferocious. You stand there and look, yeah, well, you don't have to look ferocious. Because I'm going to kick your ass to see that's how it works. But, so, I basically need to make sure my fist passes between these pet points and sort of about here and here. Okay. So, and then all that happens is once my fist crosses where your nose is, just uh -huh. swing your head to the side. Okay. Is it? Okay. So just straight across, not up there. Just straight across, everything across that way. I mean, if it gets bigger, your head leads and everything follows. You don't, you you don't want to do get this. Bigger, but just the head, not the shoulders. Yeah, for now. Okay. okay, and what about the hair? Does that help? It do. <laughs> Jason, your hair helps everything uh, all the time. We have it on tape now. We're but good. so okay. if we stack it up, I'm all just right. going to stack it up to this guy. Okay. So I can still miss by that same distance. Mm. And technically, that should look like it. And then do I'm one when you go to the ground. That's how that works. Hi. Uh, Did you see that? Yeah, it looked like two chicks were fighting. <laughs> <laughs> All that air flying everywhere. And don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Yeah, we, we hate you for lots of other reasons. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do a little surfing? Oh, uh, that's the plan, Stan. Favorite movie? <laughs> Favorite food? 
Ah, oh, impossible. Favorite thing to do on a Saturday night? Drink beer. <laughs> Favorite thing to do on a Sunday morning? Hear the dog drink beer. I don't know. Okay. Under pressure here. Favorite food? Uh, impossible. Two. Give us two. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, chocolate roast chicken. <laughs> My mom's roast chicken. Your mom's roast chicken. With potatoes and Fa gravy. Favorite country? New Zealand. Got to. Favorite uh, cuss word? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, not what I was expecting. <laughs> you love me, dude. You okay, yeah. Okay. How many times? How many times a day you drop the f bomb? Millions. How many times an hour do you drop the f bomb? A couple hundred. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Favorite director you haven't worked with? Steven Spielberg. Favorite actor? Oh no, I can't do that one. Favorite actress? I can't do that one. I mean. Ah, <laughs> nice. I'm All learning right. the self-absorption that's necessary favorite, in Hollywood. Favorite thing to do to work out? Surf. Sweet, let's do it. Nice. And on that note, seems like the perfect time for this episode of Star Stunts Action to ride off into the sunset. Until next time, partners, remember to ride tall, shoot straight, and never squat with your spurs on. Via con Dios. <laughs> <laughs>